they ask me, did you see ice falling from the edge of the glaciers? Yes. That's the spring breakup. That happens every year. Press come to us all the time, you know. They, I want to see something uh, that the, the greenhouse disaster. I say there is none. <laughs> I constantly read papers and graphs and charts and talk to my friends that are actually scientists. This cast is all about glaciers and ice and the relation to global warming, especially. First in a long series about climatology, climatology is something I'm really into. Somebody once asked me what's going on with the glaciers. Why are they all melting? Isn't it because of global warming? I didn't know, so I looked it all up. Turns out there's a lot of categories of ice in the world. And I'll start with Antarctica, which you could say there's a lot of ice there. According to the CIA, the Antarctica contains about 90% of the world's ice. And Antarctica is getting colder and thicker, actually. Since we're waiting, this bears much greater strength over the 6% of glaciers not found in Antarctica or Greenland, which contains about 4% of the world's ice. But now, let's not forget about the, uh, the other glaciers and the ice, because maybe global warming only affects the northern parts of the world, that's why Antarctica is getting colder and bigger while the rest are melting. This graph certainly shows that with the, uh, the best fit line for the northern hemisphere being the green line, while for the southern hemisphere being the blue line. Anyway, you would expect most of the world's ice to be melting like you heard on the news. But in Greenland, I was surprised to find that that is not true also. The ESC European Space Agency has a great section on satellite laser altimity in Greenland. It seems Greenland's ice walls, ice sheets, and glaciers have a positively accelerating growth pattern. And the graph trends look kind of like the ones from Antarctica. If you'll see in this fine graph, the ice that is, has a thickness of greater than 1500 meters is going straight up since at least 1992. But the ice for less than 1500 meters is flat. The second graph also shows a flat best fit line. This next one is actually a map. Laser altimetry map. The redder spots indicate losing ice, the bluer spots indicate gaining ice. As you can see, the map is overall much more bluer. But wait, what about all the, uh, the ice shelves you hear breaking off and the icebergs like the size of Texas smashing into Brazil? Okay, more like Rhode Island, but yeah. Let's ask the professor. What does he have to say? Reports from time to time a big chunk of ice uh, break away from the Antarctic continent. Uh, those must have been happening all the time. But because now we have a satellite that can detect those, that's why they become the news. This is true, and I've seen it before. When I was editing on Wiki News, they had this article, and it, it got to be a feature, at our, it was featured on the front page of Second Lead. I didn't understand how it was news if it happened a year or two ago. It's just news because the satellite found out it happened last year in August or something. But wait, what about sea ice? I've seen this map on the news a ton of times and on the internet even more. Wait a second, that doesn't look dramatic. I mean, if you look at this image with the outline of 1970 and 2005 with the picture, then it's more dramatic, but it doesn't... I guess there is less ice. But then again, you could look at more than 1979 and 2005. This video shows satellite pictures of the natural receding and expanding of the sea ice around the north and southern pole. Let me get into my narrating voice. This data from NASA's meteorological satellites shows the huge natural expansion and contraction of the polar sea ice taking place in the 1990s. Now that's more like it. Ice is always moving. News reports frequently show images of ice breaking from the edge of the Arctic. What they don't say is that this is as ordinary an event in the Arctic as falling leaves on an English autumn day. So wait, there's absolutely no evidence that any glaciers are melting? Any ice is melting? 
Oh, of course there is. Rumors all get started from some fact. Glaciers in mountains are the ones that are melting. This is a well-known fact and almost all of them are melting. Something nasty has gone on with this. The IPCC is an intergovernmental panel on climate change. Funded by the UN and they're pretty much activist group. Something funny or not funny to look at is to compare their graphs and charts with unbiased, more unbiased sources. See, the IPCC and Wikipedia use the exact same data from the same places, but why did they get different graphical descriptions? The IPCC's graph shows all declining glaciers. All the, all the glaciers shown are declining. Whereas the one on Wikipedia, some are increasing, even though the vast majority are declining and much, with much more power. So the conclusions I draw from this research study have been that 94% of the ice has been, you know, growing. Whereas, we'll say, 6% of the ice not in Antarctica or Greenland or something are melting, the melting glaciers. And the sea ice, which is ice on the ocean, is uh, a seasonal trend. And there you go. Sorry for the lawnmowers again. I hope they don't bother you that much. It didn't seem to be the simple, all the ice is melting in the world. 